Um, first off, before we get started uh, with uh, this groundbreaking, I'd like to call on the Reverend Tony Sermons, if you would, and lead us in a word of prayer, please. Let us pray. Oh, great and gracious God, how we thank you for this day. This day of fellowship, this day of remembrance. We thank you for the county commissioners. We thank you for the city government. And we thank you for this great state of Georgia. Lord, we just thank you for the idea that was planted in someone's heart that will now come a reality. And we are grateful and we are thankful for your many blessings to allow us to witness this great day here in Naylor, Georgia. And Lord, we just pray that you will continue to watch over us, continue to bless this ground, continue to watch over those that will be handling the construction of this building. And Lord, we just thank you and we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. And we just thank you for this day of sunshine. And may as the years to come, that the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren will know throughout history what took place here on today. And we will always be so careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, I think I can sit down after that prayer. <laughs> <laughs> um, certainly, there's some folks here that we need to take a moment to thank uh, the hard work that they put into all of this to be able to get us to this point. Uh, first off and foremost, I want to thank the citizens of Lowndes County for the approval of SPLOS 7. Without the SPLOS 7 revenue that we get, we would not be able to do projects like this and other projects in this community as a whole in Lowndes County. So, number one, we're very, very appreciative of all the citizens of Lowndes County for their efforts in doing that. Uh, secondly, certainly the uh, support of the commissioners. Uh, we have Commissioner Evans here with us today. Commissioner Weisenbaker is here with us today. Um, also, I've got to say this, and I can't go any further without saying the extreme hard work and dedication that Commissioner Hath Evans has for her district and specifically this community of Naylor. Um, she is in my ear almost 24-7 about what yeah. we can do. Yeah. So, when you have the opportunity to personally thank Miss Evans for that, do that because she does work extremely hard for this area over here and for her district as a whole. She's a great commissioner. She's a mentor of mine. Uh, when I came in, I'll be honest with you, I had no experience in the political field and some says, some would say I still don't have any experience. But reality is, is that I rely on folks like Miss Evans that has done this for so many years and has a passion for her community and I take a lot of her um, information and, and encouragement that she gives me and I am very, very appreciative of the relationship that have. So again, thank you, Miss Evans, for all that. We also have with us today, I think I saw we got Miss Cody Miller, who is city councilwoman with the city of Aldosta. Miss Miller, thank you. Uh, also, we got with us from Parks and Rec, we got Miss Jessica um, Cabot, I believe. There we go, so hiding over here. Miss <laughs> George Page, executive director. And we got Mr. Mac Mr. Mike McDowell, who is the chairman of the board of Parks and Rec. And these folks are a big part of not only getting to this, this to this point, but they'll be the ones that's going to take care of it and manage it. They're the ones that you're going to be working with in this community as you use this facility. So again, a great job that they do, and I'm very, very appreciative of that. Also, we have to thank uh, Mr. Glenn Gregory and his firm for the great design and the work with us to get this project to where we can build it, Kellerman Construction and their efforts uh, so far to get us to this point and certainly to get the project built and get it built on time. And I also want to thank an individual that really doesn't get the tremendous amount of thanks that he gets. I try to give it to him when I get an opportunity 
So here I am. I have my opportunity. And that's Mr. Chad McLeod, one of the staff mem members of the Lambs County. Chad plays a huge role in these types of projects for Lambs County. He is, he is our eyes and our ears in the field that you might say that works through the small details. And some of them aren't quite so small. But he works through all those details to bring a project like this to fruition. And so again, You've got a great staff in the folks at Lowndes County that works hard for the citizens of this community. So again, uh, very, very appreciative of them. Um, this is a great project. It's going to mean a lot to the community of Naylor. Um, and it, we will continue with other projects. I know I've already been asked about the boat ramp. Well, believe me, the boat ramp is coming to Naylor, Georgia. We're going to get that done. Uh, if we have run through some obstacles as we've started looking at it, but but we're very, very confident that that's going to take place and we want to get that complete as well. So again, a lot of attention is being paid over on uh, this side of the county and specifically the, the community of Naylor. So again, I'm very, very appreciative of each and every one of you and thank you for coming out today and supporting your community and certainly from supporting this. I'm sorry. And Mr. Crawford Powell, he's with us as well. He's one of our former county commissioners and he was a big part of this as well. So again, thank you Ms. Evans for that. Thank you. At this time, uh, as I said, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and now uh, we've got a group of folks that we're going to move over here and we're going to do the groundbreaking and um, get this moving on. We can have